Christmas and welcome to Switching in the Kitchen, the show where I destroy sacred culinary traditions by switching up all the ingredients with other ingredients and then I force people to eat them and it's disgusting. This episode I'm ruining a recipe I found online for mince pies. So festive. This particular one is by Paul Hollywood so it's probably good because he's been on, on the TV for food. The ingredients are as follows. One large jar of mincemeat, two satsumas, one apple, one lemon zest, icing sugar for dusting, 375 grams of plain flour, 260 grams of unsalted butter, 125 grams of caster sugar, and one large egg plus one beaten egg for glazing. Never mind, there's going to be something different very soon. Instead of mincemeat, which isn't really meat anyway, is it? We're going to have biscuit crumbs. Instead of satsumas, we'll have cheddar cheese. Instead of apple, cucumber. Instead of uh, lemon zest, uh, we'll, we'll, we will be, we'll be, we'll be using white chocolate. Oh, oh boy. Instead of icing sugar, it's just going to have a little dusting of, of, of marshmallows. Instead of flour, we use pear. Instead of butter, we'll have a red Leicester cheese. Oh ho. Instead of caster sugar, we'll, we'll, be, we'll, be using, we'll be using fudge. And in place of the eggs, it will be tortilla chips. There are so many ingredients in this bowl, but I always seem to get the same ones again. Never mind. Uh, this might not be so bad. There's nothing that stands out to me as, as disgusting. But again, I don't think they'll mesh very well as ingredients. We'll see. Uh, let, let's go to the kitchen and find out. Way. So here are all my ingredients. What lovely mince pies these are going to be. Look at these cake angels. Oh boy. Step one, place the flour and butter in a bowl and rub together to a crumb consistency. So the flour is pears and the butter is red Leicester cheese. I'm gonna weigh these out now, make sure I have the right amounts. Uh, these pears aren't ripe, but they're gonna get cooked, so it's not that big a deal. Okay, that's 375 grams of pear, 260 grams of cheese. I've got to rub, rub them together to a crumb consistency. Okay, right, I'm gonna have to, have to break this cheese up a bit. Alright, I'm also gonna get the knife in there just to kinda chop up a bit. Feeling festive yet? Okay, this is about as mixed as I'm willing to make it. Um, oh, it has, a, it has a really weird smell. Add the sugar and the egg and mix together. 125 grams of fudge in place of sugar and about an egg's worth of tortilla chips um, shut up. Hey! Hey lizard! Hey, hey, hey shut up! Hey quit making the noise when I'm cooking okay? And you Right I'm gonna mix this now Hey! Hey! Li Okay, I'm gonna mix this up. Oh, Merry Christmas. Tip out onto a lightly floured surface and fold until the pastry comes together. Be careful not to over mix. I don't think this is going to come together no matter how much folding I'm gonna do to it. Uh, and for that reason, I'm not gonna put it on a surface. It's just gonna 
It's going to go everywhere. Um, so I'm going to skip to the next one. I'll tell you what, it smells not not very good. Uh, it kind of smells like fruit crumble, but but I don't like fruit crumble, so, so never mind. Wrap the pastry in cling film and chill for 10 minutes. Cling film is magic. Who invented cling film? Like, what? Right, this is gonna chill for 10 minutes in the in the fridge. And while that's chilling, we can move on to the next part. W what is it? What Step two, scoop the mincemeat into a bowl and add the satsumas, apple, and zest. The mincemeat is biscuit crumbs. Uh, it's at about 600 grams, so um, biscuits are 400 grams. So one and a half packs of these, uh, and that, that'll, be, that'll be good. Okay, so that's about one and a half packs. Uh, oh boy, that's quite a lot. Oh, okay, let's turn them into crumbs. Why did I put biscuit crumbs on the list? What? On the ingredients, whoops. What was I thinking? Okay, I think that's pretty good. I moved to a to a bigger bowl because because it kept spilling out of that one, so uh, there's still a couple of chunks in there, but yeah. It's crumbs, right, what, what am I adding? I'm adding Satsuma's apple and zest, which was cheddar cheese, cucumber, and white chocolate. All right, that's about two Satsuma's worth of cheddar cheese, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut, cut this cheese up into bits though. Okay, is that about an apple's worth of cucumber? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, it says, finely chopped, so I'm going to slice it. And the lemon is just supposed to be the zest of the lemon, uh, so I'm going to grate the white chocolate. Let's give this a bit of a mix. Jingle bells. Oh, the pastry has been in the fridge for Quite a lot longer than 10 minutes, but you know, what does is, what is anything really matter? Looks a little bit like a fruit salad. Not really. Step three, heat oven to 220 degrees Celsius. Uh, gas mark seven. Oh, so gas mark. Roll out the pastry to three millimeters thick. Roll it out? Roll it out? Um. All right. Oh, gross. Ew. Who invented the rolling pin? Merry Christmas to them. It's a little more than three millimeters, I think, but it's gonna have to do, because it doesn't really wanna... It's kind of filled the whole tray as well, so. Using a round cutter, cut out 16 bases and place them into muffin trays. Here's my round cutter. He wants 16, but there's only 12 on the tray, so 12 maximum. Let's, uh, let's see about this, uh, let's, uh, get, uh, uh, ha. Oh, look at that. What do you know? It kind of worked. Kind of, it's just a little pile in the, in the tray, but, you know. Oh, that one didn't work. Let's just take it. Well, the first one was the only one that really worked like that anyways, but there they are. That's the, that's just the pastry. Put one and a half tablespoons of mincemeat mixture into each. I don't know spoons, but this seems right. So about one, I think, I think about one of those is gonna get on, onto these. Oh. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling. Brush the edge of each pie with a little beaten egg. Egg was tortilla chips. There's one. I'll beat it. And then I'll brush the edge of each pie with it.
Great. Re-roll out the pastry to cut seven centimeter lids and press them on top to seal. I get to deal with this nonsense again. I keep thinking these are chunks of meat, but it's fudge. I don't know that I'm gonna fit seven centimeter lids on top of those, so I'm just gonna, just gonna pick a bit up and just drop it on top. Just a little bit on top of each one. It's just gonna be a pile of nonsense anyway, isn't it? Okay, here. Okay. Glaze with the rest of the egg, sprinkle with caster sugar, and then make a small cut in the tops. Glaze with the egg. As for the caster sugar, I didn't realize I was gonna need any more fudge, so I kind of ate the rest. So never mind. But I'll make a small cut in the tops though. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Step four. Bake mince pies for 15 to 20 minutes until a golden brown. Oh, finally. I think I was gonna cry if I had to do anything else to these monstrosities. Okay, see you in 15 to 20 minutes. And you better be golden brown. Goodness. Okay, we're about halfway through. Oh boy, you can't see it, can you? Ah, never mind, never mind. Don't use this. Let's do it in the edit. Let's do it in the edit. Don't, don't use this footage. Oh, what? Okay, time's up. Let's, uh, let's, let's turn the oven off for a start. Smells cheesy. Oh my goodness. All right, let's analyze the situation here. The biscuits have burned. Uh, the cheese, both cheeses have melted. Oh, the fudge has melted too. Look over there. That's about it, really. Um, I saw, oh, the pear's cooked. Ooh. Cooked pear. What's this? So I think they'll stay together once I get them out, because the cheese, I think, will keep them together. Leave to cool before releasing them from the muffin trays and dusting with icing sugar. Instead of the icing sugar, we had cake, angels, or, or mini marshmallows. Oh, ooh. Oh, ooh, yay. Oh, oh, yum, yum. And to all a good night. Get some, some even distribution. Get those marshmallows all over here. Get some in my mouth. Mmm. Some on the floor. Great. Um, I think that's probably enough. I know most of them will fall off. I'm just hoping that some will stick. Okay, I think they're cool enough by now. I'm gonna put them in this festive tin to transport them. Let's see if they actually come out of the tin in one piece. I'm hopeful because of the cheese melting. Okay, there's one. Ah, this one's alright. This one's alright. Um, I think six might be enough. These are the ones I'm gonna serve because they're the first ones I took out of the tree. And um, that's enough, that's enough. So, that's very festive. Almost as festive as a reindeer made of wood that is in our, our lounge for some reason. Why is it here? And why is he here? Oh, here we are at the Pambra Inn. Not a sponsor, but it's, it's real nice. This is Thomas and Samuel. Hi. <laughs> here they are. Um, I expect they're quite nervous because I've got my mystery mince pies over there and they're gonna be trying them. They're gonna be trying them. I didn't know about this till like half an hour ago, so this is quite worrying. I organized it with Tom. He didn't. Bad tell. idea. <laughs> Are you excited? Are we excited? Yeah, we're very excited. We're very excited to try this pies of whatever they're going to be. Are yeah. you feeling a festive? I can see you. Are. Yeah, I'm feeling festive. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Festive. So festive. Very festive. So festive. Merry Christmas. All right. I'm going to bring in the the mince pies. They're very nice. Oh boy. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, we'll work till you're ready. Get ready. 
Okay, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, there they are. Oh, they look like chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> we have to look at them all, we have to have to taste them. Oh, you can look at them. Oh, that's a cool jar, that's nice, isn't it? What on earth is that yellow thing that I don't know? Is it the cheese? See. Is that like red crumbs? Well, yeah. you can see there's lots of different parts. Oh, that's yeah. fish fingers. So you can, <laughs> you can kind of... Oh, that's what I was going to get. Uh, it's like cold yeah. marshmallow pizza. Oh, we, we actually you can, yeah, choose which one you want. So how many ingredients are there to get? Yes. There are nine ingredients, but some of them are so small you probably won't guess. Oh, we're going in already? Like a pizza. How did you find that? Really good, actually. Really? I really enjoy it. Yeah, Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, you wanna go in it? <laughs> we put loads of salt in your water. Mm -hmm. you notice? Really? Mm. Alright. Found a steak after this, I'm plenty. Yeah, it's not actually so bad, is it? It's like crumbles. Have you tried it before? Oh, no, I haven't tried it. Oh, definitely it's definitely It's like carrot and courgette crumble with marshmallows. I would actually eat this. Really? That's cheese in there. Mmm. Mm. Uh, marshmallow, obviously, of course, yeah. Is that a pepper? No. There's no pepper. There's no pepper. No. So there's cheese. There is cheese. Marshmallows. Bread. Cheese, Bread. Is, cheese is all I'm getting, really. Yeah. It's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like a crumble, so it's sort of a crumble mix, which means there's must be butter. If you eat in a whole one, it's just weird, aren't you? <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> it's something very sweet. It's Apple, what's that in there? Not apple, but something pear, similar. Right? It is pear. There's pear. quite a lot of pear. Courgette. Was that cucumber? Just it is cucumber, actually. Cucumber. It's not courgette. It, it, just, it, went, it looks like courgette when it's cooked. Went really shrewdly. Do we want to know what the crumb is? Yeah. Is it just bread crumb? No, it's um, it's biscuit crumb. Oh, biscuit. Okay. Here's a chocolate biscuit. Oh. <laughs> kind of got burned. So how many ingredients have we got so far? Oh, wait. What have we got? We've got pear. Pear. Digestive. Digestive. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Cucumber. Cucumber. Cheese. 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 There's actually two types of cheese, so... Uh, red Vesta. Red Vesta. And it must be just like cheddar. There's also cheese. cheddar here as well. Yeah. Wait, what have you got? How many is that? So there's another three. Really? So that's just... Is there any like, major ingredients that we haven't got? Yeah. Oh, there's one kind of major one. And the other's probably... You can't detect. There must be something holding the, the um, crumble mixture together. Butter. Butter. No, there's no the butter. No. I think, I think it's the cheese actually holding it all together. Mm. There's also one, I mean, there's, I'll tell you, there's white chocolate, but only a very small amount. Oh, okay, okay. No way got that. Yeah. And, um, I don't think there's any way you'll detect those tortilla chips in there as well. <laughs> it's really good for what's in it. There's one more, isn't there? And there's one more that you can probably find if you like explore. Take another one too, we can find. Is it what, can you give us the genre? Oh, um, confectionery. Is that too specific? Yeah, actually. This isn't so bad. Once I've, <laughs> once I've got past the, uh, it looks like it must be melted. It's like crappy when melted. Yeah, it's kind of melted, but there's still, it's still kind of chunks of it. Can you taste? Oh, okay. Is it something savoury or sweet? Close with toffee. Yeah, close. Yeah, it's fudge. Oh, there's fudge in there. Those are all the ingredients. Obviously, buy it, but um, no, 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 it's not too bad. Would you consider adding it to your Pambora menu? No. no <laughs> definitely not. It actually crumbles together nicely, actually. Yeah, I was surprised. Right. They kind of crumbled a little bit, but they stayed in pieces. Okay, that's weird. Would you rate it out of 10? Yeah, considering what it is, probably an 8 out of 10. Yeah, about the same. Maybe. Yeah, not bad. I'd, uh, that's pretty good. I'd probably agree. There you go. Successful. Merry Christmas. Come to the camera in. And I'll see you next time on. Switching in the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, do you, do you want to take two? Yeah. I'll see you next time on Switching, Switching in, in the, the Kitchen. kitchen.